Hey, we want to take a couple of minutes and shout out to uh, our favorite photography resources. These are mostly people that we've we've had the chance to personally interact with and and like. So these are all cool people, right? Yeah, most of them I think we've met. Yeah, and these are not in any particular order. So don't feel like we're numbering these things. No, no. But but Matt is like he would be one of my groomsmen. You know what I mean? Matt's my boo. Yeah. But okay, so I like Matt as a person, but also he puts out really great content. He's yeah, not he just really that does. Nikon guy anymore. He he reviews other gear, but he takes he teaches you how to take pictures, everything from beginner stuff to more advanced. Um, if you don't know him, he has a YouTube channel like ours and he does a lot of photography tutorials and gear reviews like we do. Yeah. He's out of Australia. Yeah, he's doing a series right now where he's taking vintage gear and showing people which vintage gear you can get great pictures with. So that was a really cool idea. Yeah, but he's a great photographer and honest guy and just really, really funny. He's so a really check confident out his channel singer, and subscribe too. To it. <laughs> he is. We should put, put some clips of that in. That would get some people to his channel. Next is Toby Gelston of Photo Rec Toby. We've liked his video since before we knew him personally. He's a very good teacher. Wasn't he a teacher in his past life? professor yeah. or something um and he just has a way of making complex content really simple he's a really sweet guy he's just super down to earth approachable and i know that he takes time to respond to people he's just helpful yeah just an honest and nice guy been on our show a couple of times definitely check out his appearances with us and subscribe to his channel max Jurev is a guy I met at a press event and we got to know each other a little bit it's just like the nicest guy and he has a youtube channel just like we do and he's been working really hard at it making camera reviews tutorials and uh definitely check him out and subscribe to his channel i like the guy yeah he's really nice but he's also very hard working and knowledgeable and professional he's just a respectable guy you should check out his channel Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye. Yep, we met him at a Photo, Photo Plus. Plus yeah. in New York City. Just came up and said hi. And since then, we've checked out his channel and uh, talked on, online a few times. And he, he has great t content. And again, seems like a good guy. Just subscribe to his channel. Yeah, he's really likable. He's got a good on-screen presence. And it makes his videos easy to watch. Plus, he's got good content. That'll help. The Camera Store. This Chris, is Chris and Jordan. And Jordan. They yeah. do camera reviews mostly, but they're both extremely knowledgeable, and we've met up with them a couple of times. And they're just the nicest and, and got to be the hardest working guys yeah, on they're, YouTube. They're passionate and they're sweet and they're likable. They've got it all going for them. We probably don't even have to tell you guys about them. Everyone seems to love them, but we definitely just wanted to give them credit ourselves. We really like them a lot. Yeah, check out their channel. We'll have to do a collaboration with them. I'd love to have them on the show. Yeah, they're just so far away. Michael, another, the mentor. Yeah, just another guy that I've gone back and forth with online. And I've just always liked his videos. He's he's very objective about the gear, and he he puts in a lot of work. And he seems like generally like a nice guy. Like half the time, he's he's not making YouTube videos because he's off like volunteering in in Africa or something. You just check out Michael, the mentor's channel. Yeah, he has good production values too. Yeah, very. And good. he puts effort into teaching something. He doesn't just sit there. He he makes it interesting. Yeah. Fablographer. This is a blog run by Chris Gampat. Sorry if I said your last name wrong, Chris. But we also met Chris while at an event, and his blog is great. I've checked it out. So he'll give you blogs about the latest gear that's out. He'll review gear. Um, but my favorite thing is that he takes other really talented photographers and kind of sh introduces you to them. So his blog is very inspirational, um, but you can also learn a lot there. And I know that he's doing... Um, workshops now so he's got a lot to offer he's a nice guy and he's really passionate and cool i like chris yeah chris is a good guy but sometimes he bites his cheese sticks he told me oh it's my only gripe i really want him to cook for me sounds like he's a good cook is he according to him resource magazine yeah, this is mostly a blog, but they have a lot of great content, so you'll find out the latest photography news, and they also dig deep into things like uh, new photographers who are, who are doing interesting things. Just go to their blog and <laughs> subscribe to it if you use a newsreader. DP Review. I know we joke about their forums. It can get a little hairy in there, but they make great content. Yeah, the people who run the site, it's actually owned by Amazon, if you can believe it, but they have a blog that's constantly updated and they tend to get cameras even before we do. So they'll be in there just running them through a battery of tests and sometimes their comparison tests are, are the best things that are, are available. Um, they're, they're analytical and honest and they make good content. Check them out if you haven't. Sony Alpha Rumors. 
Yeah, I, I know the guy just because we go back and forth online and he's a really nice guy. And it's, it really is the best source of news for Sony stuff. And it's not just rumors. Like he's, he will cover the occasional rumor about something that's coming up. But most of it is just concrete news about new gear that's announced. And if, if you're in the Sony world, I think this site is the best resource. Hugh Brownstone. I like Hugh. Yeah. He was super knowledgeable. Yeah. Whenever we talk to him, it's like he just seems to know everything that's going on. Yeah, he's uh, knowledgeable and honest for both photography and, and video related stuff. Uh, I think it's three blind men and an elephant, <laughs> but he also does work over at Planet 5D, which is a great uh, blog to check out. So check out his blogs and his YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to it. He is a cool guy. He's cool. He's a man you can trust. Planet Mitch, he's also at Planet 5D, right? Yeah, they, they've often worked together. I don't know what the situation is, but they're both good guys. And I don't know Mitch personally, like I know Hugh, I just haven't met up with him, but I have talked to him online. Also another knowledgeable guy, one of those people that I go to when I'm looking for information about upcoming cameras and stuff. Dave Dugdale, everybody loves Dave Dugdale in the field. When the, like the behind the scenes is that everybody knows who's super friendly and knowledgeable and likable. So yeah. they're like, oh, Dave Dugdale comes up and everyone's like, Dave, like we love Dave. Yeah. You know how there's like, uh, the musicians, musician and the artist, artist, like Dave is, is that to those of us in the industry, like he's, he's, he puts in 10 times more effort on the things that he digs into than most of us do. Like, uh, Justin probably remembers that awful little uh, stabilizer, handheld stabilizer thing that we had. And when we were trying to get that thing to work, we were pouring through all of Dave's tutorials because he's the one who had gone through the trouble to actually make that thing work properly thank you dave for just all the content that you do it's always just spot on be sure to, to check out all the work that he does his content's great but he's also just a really supportive person in the field yeah like sometimes you get people where everything's a competition but dave's just kind of like oh we're all here for the same reason it's just a great guy yeah improve photography uh yeah jim harmer and his crew out there i i know i've said all these people are nice but jim <laughs> He's just a super nice well, guy. We I think he's out in Utah. In nice, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. And he he has a blog, so you can go there and and look at his writing. But he also has a podcast that's just super super popular. And I've been on that podcast. That's part of the reason that I know them. That's how you know it's popular. Yeah, I'm just teasing him. I, I knew about it before I was ever on the podcast, but he was nice enough to have me on, and uh, they do great work. So definitely check them out. Yeah, they do. I like their podcast a lot. Peta Pixel. They're definitely like the number one source for news. Yeah, they have great news at Petapixel. <laughs> but but just by far. And they have actual like journalistic integrity, which is can be uncommon <laughs> in the blogging world. These guys are, are like proper writers and journalists. Oh, yeah. They do good work and well-respected work, and they have integrity. We've so. met some of their writers, and they tell us about the research that they do. And the one that we met, he he was like justified. He wanted to make sure he was telling the right story and then he was bettering the community. So I really respect their content. Yeah, Petapixel, really good crew. And part of that crew is Sharky James, another podcast that we really like, the Petapixel podcast. And I think it's weekly and it's photography news. And uh, we all we did was we cut like an intro for <laughs> Sharky, but I've been, Sharky was really nice and he really helped me out with uh, setting up our own podcast. And since then I've been listening to his podcast and I really like it. So along with the Petapixel crew, check out the Petapixel podcast. Yeah, he's got some good news to share on there. F-stoppers. One thing I like about F-stoppers, well, first of all, their content is really good, but they have a lot of contributors, which means it's not just all one point of view. It's not biased. You, one day they can have an article about one thing. The next they have an article that's contrary to that. So, yeah, I mean, something might be biased, but the next day they'll have a totally different point of view just yeah. because they do have so many different contributors. Uh, and they also make YouTube videos and they have really good production values. They've really stepped up their YouTube game recently. They seem like a uh, good bros <laughs> over at F Stoppers. So right, who else? Yeah, who are have we, we forgotten? I know I've I know I've forgotten people that I know and like. So I'm sorry. It just it, my memory is really flaky. Write in the comments who we're forgetting. We'd love for everybody to kind of share. Yeah, who do you think not only puts out good content but is good for the community, has good intentions, wants people to learn? We want to know who those people are and give them credit. That's it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.